Hi there, thanks for joining me today. You're with Mandy from Mandy Makes and Men's and this is the card we're making today, carrying on with the theme of making spinner cards this week. So we've got the little bumblebee going round there. So this week, as you know, we've been using the Shootin' Star stamp set along with the Sliding Star framelits. The framelits here have been given us the aperture to make our spinner cards so i got to thinking what happens if you don't have a big shot can you still use a stamp set well of course you can so i'm going to show you how the supplies that we're going to use today are we're going to use a piece of pear pizzazz a piece of pe whisper white um, a scrap of whisper white and we're going to use this lovely photographic uh, paper from the Serene Scenery Designer Paper Stack. This stack comes um, with six by six um, sheets in the catalogue and you get 48 of them. And a lot of them, they've all got photographic images on the front, but on the back, they've got some playful, lovely designs. So if you didn't like one, you could possibly use the other. Anyway, moving on to our card. First of all, we're going to do the stamping. Now, I'm going to stamp out the butterfly. Um, he's not a butterfly, is he at all? He's a little bumblebee. How could I get that mixed up? Anyway, we're going to stamp out the little bumblebee in black memento ink. And while I've got the ink pad open, I'm just going to stamp out the little sentiment as well. And I'm using You're As Sweet As Can Be. So to colour our bunder, bu bunder, bumblebee in, we're going to use um, a Daffodil Delight marker and also the basic black. So we're simply just going to colour in as little stripes, just so everybody will know that it's a bumblebee and we'll colour in his head um, with black as well. Um, if you require the measurements that I'm using today, you'll be able to find those on mandymakesandmens.co.uk on my blog. You'll find all the information for this week's cards there, so do pop along and have a look. Right, so we've nearly coloured in our little bumblebee, so he's fine. Right, so next what we're going to do is, because we don't have the framelits, as I said, because none of us have a big shot, we're just going to simply cut this little guy out. Now, I thought this would take ages, but it actually doesn't. Now, I'm not going straight to the edge and cutting along the edge, because I think if you have a little bit of a wobble, then it makes it look... Um, not very good at all. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, it's just, it, it's perfectly adequate though. You don't necessarily need framelits all the time. So we're just going to cut him out, but you will be pleased to know um, for the aperture uh, and the spinning card bit, I'm not actually going to be cutting him out. So, as you can see, I'm just quickly cutting around. Incidentally, I'm using the Stampin' Up paper snips here. Oh, and they're just fab because they cut right down to the absolute point of the scissors and they're just so sharp. So, I well recommend those. There we go. So, that's our little bumblebee cut out. So, the next thing we're going to do then is we are going to make this little aperture. So how I did that then was I got the two inch circle punch and I am just going to center it up. Don't push it all the way down, punch that out. Now don't throw this away. We're just gonna leave this to one side and we're going to take the circle that we've just cut out. Next, what we want to do is we are going to get our little scrap of hair pizzazz cardstock and we're just going to put a little bit on here. It's just so that when we put 
the circle through our punch it just gives us that little bit extra holding room I am using the one inch circle punch center it up doesn't need to be in the center uh, but if you had a little bit of a design there you could possibly go over that and then we've got our little circle as well so today I am using the Stampin' Up 3D adhesive foam strips these came out new in this year's catalogue if you haven't got any they are really good so um, you might want to get some of these now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to snip off just a little a little tiny bit I can't use dimensionals because it's not the same depth as these foam strips so it all needs to be the same depth for it to work so all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a bit of foam on there and the other I'm going to stick two bits on just for good measure so that's that stuck on there so we'll take that and we'll put that along here and along here oh, and along the bottom there and we'll just remove our back ends and we shall place this down once we've placed it down then we're going to get our little pieces of foam and we're just going to stick that directly in the middle as best you can okay so that's our little spinner part made next thing we would like to do is we'll come back in with our scrap of pear pizzazz and we are going to just simply with the three quarter punch is punch a hole and this will cover the five pence piece that we're going to use for our spinner part okay so getting a dimensional what we need to do is you've seen me do this before is just trim it round to make it a kind of circular shape and that will make it spin that little bit easier so stick them between the two five pences and removing the back end we are just going to stick that down there okay so what we'll do now is we'll put our five pences in the gap and what what you need to do is you just need to double check that it is going to actually move freely okay so we've got our little green circle that we've just cut out and using a glue dot we will just take one off put it on and press that down and all that does is it just covers the ugliness of the five pence pieces um, I'm not sure what uh, you could use one pence pieces that would work as well in this card um, I just thought that with the three quarter circle the five pences work better and then we're simply going to stick some glue dots on there stick that down get our greeting and using the classic label punch we're just going to punch that out now I'm part of a team a stamping up team and and one of my teammates this week on the on our blog came up with that what you can actually do with this um, punch is before everybody used the hexagon punch and to get a banner but if you just simply stick that back in through that hole there 
and lining it up it'll just cut out your little banner so you get that's quite nice like that so you could do that on both sides um, and using it up and leaning it out then you've got a little banner I'm so sorry I don't know I can't remember who it was that did it but um, or I would let you know but I will write it down on my blog who actually um, came up with that idea so if you would like to go over there uh, you'll be able to see um, who it was so you're as sweet as can be then just simply sticking that down onto our card and there we have two spinner cards and not having to use the big shot at all so I hope you enjoyed my uh, projects this week. Uh, next week I'll be moving on to a different um, stamp set and I do hope that you'll be able to come and join me. If you like what you see, please subscribe and I will catch up with you on Monday. Happy making everyone, whatever it may be. Speak to you later. Bye.